We'll have a whale of a time deep in the ocean as we dive. You'll see the smallest of whales and see how large they can thrive. Whales are classified as mammals, you're a lot like them, you know. They're all milk secreting, warm blooded vertebrate animals. I'm a barnacle, I'm always stuck on a whale. I know a lot about them, I hope you enjoy this tale. Here's a dwarf sperm whale, its lengths around seven feet. And four to six hundred pounds And it loves to eat meat They eat cephalopods That's right, squids and octopus They also love crustaceans Crab and shrimp, they taste really good They're a toothed whale In a group called the Dontacete They swim in temperate and tropical oceans To feel free Here's a pygmy right whale At a length of twenty-one feet Weighing seventy-five hundred pounds Finding food's no easy feat they feed on copepods, a microscopic crustacean. They also feed on krill, a crustacean on the run. They filter feed their food through baleen and are classified in a group called Mysticeti. Here's a minky whale. They're about 18 feet and commonly weigh 12,000 pounds. To watch them is quite a treat. They feed primarily on krill and on some small schooling fish. Copepods are on their menu. That's one hefty dish. Minkies are classified as Mysticeti as well. That means they feed through baleen. They filter really swell. This is a gray whale at a length of 45 feet and weighs 60,000 pounds. They'll surface for you to meet. Amphipods are a gray whale's favorite food. They're tiny shrimp like animals, that's what they like to pursue. A brood as well, its length is 55 feet and weigh up to 30 tons. That's 60,000 pounds, you see. They mainly feed on crustaceans and cephalopods and fish too. They're part of the Mysticeti, a baleen whale that's true. You know the humpback whale, 52 feet in length shown here. At 66,000 pounds, they don't have much fear. They mainly feed on krill and plankton filtered through baleen. Mysticeti is their class in the oceanic scene. Here's a say whale, 55 feet in their length. You know they've got some strength They feed on 2,000 pounds of food per day They eat copepods, krill, small fish, and cephalopods I'd say Here's the right whale They're 59 feet long and 160,000 pounds I wonder how they get along They feed on euphosiid and copepods now Filter through baleen, Mississippi, take a bow Here's a bullhead whale their length's 59 feet long at 220,000 pounds. You're learning here in this song. Euphosiids and copepods are their main diet they lead. Mysticeti is their group filtering food through their baleen. Here you see a blue whale. Its length is 100 feet, 330,000 pounds. Staying afloat is quite a feat. They can eat four tons of krill on a daily basis. They're also Mysticeti. Thank you for learning this. We'll have a whale of a time deep in the ocean as we dive. You'll see the smallest of whales and see how large they can thrive. Whales are classified as mammals. You're a lot like them, you know. They're all milk secreting, warm blooded vertebrate animals. There are 206 bones in your body, you should know We all have different jobs and functions that we're about to show We're the top three smallest to the top three largest bones in the body We will show you our location and functions you will see We are the top three smallest bones in the human body Stay tuned to learn our names, our size and where we be I am the stapes or stirrup bone you see I'm the smallest and lightest bone in the human body I conduct sound vibrations to the oval window You couldn't hear without me, I'm shaped like a stirrup as shown I'm the malleus or the hammer bone I'm the second smallest bone in the human body, you should know I'm a hammer-shaped small bone in the middle ear I transmit sound from the ear I am the Incas, some call
call me the anvil bone as well I'm the third smallest bone now about me I will tell I receive vibrations from the malleus in which I'm connected to then I transmit these to these tapes so your hearing can stay true there are 206 bones in your body you should know we all have different jobs and functions that we're about to show we're the top three smallest to the top three largest bones in the body we will show you our location and functions you will see we are the top three largest bones in your body yeah we're grand you'll learn our names location and function so you understand i'm your fibula some even call me the cap bone i'm the third largest bone in your body the most slender of the leg bone shown I'm located in the lower leg parallel to the tibia there i stabilize the ankle and support the muscles of the lower leg here I am your tibia, also known as the shin bone. I'm the second largest bone, let me show you my home. Located in your lower leg, next to your fibula, you saw I form the knee joint with the femur and the ankle joint with the fibula. I am the femur, but some call me the thigh bone. I am the largest bone in your body, I also help you roam. My head fits into your hip socket as you plainly see While the bottom's connected to the very important knee There are 206 bones in your body you should know We all have different jobs and functions that we're about to show We're the top 3 smallest to the top 3 largest bones in the body We will show you our location and functions you will see Listen up we're your ears we're here to show you how we function we hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear let's take a look at your ears and what they're made of there's three parts of the human ear they are all of the above first we have the outer ear it consists of two parts the pinna and the ear canal they're both work of art onto the middle ear and its parts of three the eardrum the ossicles and the cavity the oval window and the semicircle ducts cochlea and auditory tubes are the inner ear parts listen up we're your ears we're here to show you how we function We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear The smallest bones in your body are from the ossicles group They are the hammer, anvil, and stirrup, we'll get to what they do the semicircle canals are made up of three tubes Filled with liquid endolymph They look just like little loops When your head is in motion the liquid endolymph moves Triggering the little hairs called cilia that live in you The cilia sends these motion signals to your brain Then your brain knows how to balance you so you don't get a sprain Listen up We're your ears we're here to show you how we function We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear When sound waves are made, the pinner gathers them up and sends them through the ear canal to the eardrum's little cup. Then your eardrum vibrates and it strikes the hammer bone which moves the anvil and the stirrup which makes all that sound grow. The stirrup vibrates the liquid that fills your cochlea. The liquid moves all sorts of fibers which vibrates more cilia. That cilia creates electric impulses that shoot through the cochlear nerve to the brain art your ears a hoop. Then the brain takes all that info and tells you what you heard. So please take care of your two ears so you can listen to our words. Listen up, we're your ears. We're here to show you how we function We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear Hello, I'm your skeleton As you can plainly see here Some of the 206 bones in the human body and As a baby you start out with about 300 that's a lot considering many views when you are grown 206 bones is what you have as an adult Due to all the fusion your bones do this is the result Ligaments hold the ends of your bones together This is true and muscles attach a bone with tendons connective tissue Tendons and ligaments connect to bones on 
come up the 206 bones in the human body. Let's move to the posterior or the back side of you. First thing you'll notice is the spinal column, I'll break that down too. The cervical vertebrae, also known as your neck, is made up of seven bones to help keep your head in check. Then the thoracic vertebrae is made up of 12 bones. It's the longest stretch of your spinal column that is shown. Then there's a lumbar vertebrae on your lower back. It's an arch and a very important bony stack. Until your sacrum is attached to your pelvis, then the spine ends with the fusion of bones called the coccyx. Please take care of your bones and keep them healthy and strong. They give you structure in your life to help you live really long. Hello, I'm your skeleton, as you can plainly see here some of the 206 bones in the human body. This is a country comparison by size, we'll show you with our square mileage, yeah we'll keep you advised with this country comparison by size, we'll go from small to large, it may come as some surprise. I'm Vatican City and Monaco. This is Nauru and Tuvalu did show San Marino here and Liechtenstein The Marshall Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis are fine Maldives are next, Malta is small I'm Granada, St. Vincent and Grenadines to call Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda The Seychelles, Palau it's nice to meet ya Pandora is here St. Lucia, there's more Micronesia and Singapore Welcome to Tonga, Dominica, you see I am Bahrain and Karabati Sao Tome and Principe Mauritius is close This is Luxembourg and I'm Comoros Here's Samoa, Cape Verde in your eye Trinidad and Tobago then Brunei, this is Cyprus, and Lebanon, Jamaica Mon, Gambia's the one, here's Qatar, and Vanuatu, Montenegro, Bahama stays true, east to more than Swaziland, Kuwait, and Fiji understand, Slovenia, and El Salvador, Israel, Belize, there's more, Djibouti, Macedonia, Rwanda, Haiti showed ya, Burundi, Equatorial Guinea, Solomon Islands, Albania, you see, Armenia, I'm Lesotho, Belgium, Moldova sees you, Guinea-Bissau, and I'm Bhutan, Switzerland, Netherlands has got it going on, Denmark, Estonia, Dominican Republic, and Slovakia, and Costa Rica, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Togo, nice to meet ya, Latvia, Lithuania, Sri Lanka, and Georgia. The Republic of Ireland, Sierra Leone here, Panama, Czech Republic just appeared, the United Arab Emirates, Austria, Azerbaijan, and Serbia, Jordan, Portugal, Hungary, South Korea is full, Iceland, Guatemala, Cuba, Bulgaria, Liberia, Honduras, I'm Benin, Eritrea won't fuss, Malawi, North Korea, peace, Nicaragua, and I am Greece, Tajikistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Tunisia has it all, Suriname, Uruguay, Cambodia, Syria is fly, Senegal, Kyrgyzstan, Belarus, Guyana,
Guyana has a plan Laos, Romania I'm gonna Uganda see ya The United Kingdom I'm Guinea Gabon New Zealand That is me Burkina Faso Ecuador Philippines Italy on to more Oman And Poland Ivory Coast And Malaysia I stand Vietnam Finland that's me Republic of the Congo And Germany Japan And Norway Zimbabwe Uruguay I say Iraq Morocco Uzbekistan Sweden the show Papua New Guinea Cameroon Turkmenistan Spain will see you soon Thailand Yemen is far Kenya And Madagascar Botswana Ukraine is what I pick South Sudan Central African Republic Somalia France Afghanistan Myanmar stands a chance Zambia Chile Turkey Mozambique Come and play Namibia Pakistan Venezuela Nigeria on demand Tanzania Egypt you saw Mauritania And Bolivia Ethiopia Colombia you see South Africa And I am Mali Angola Niger Chad Peru There's nothing finer Mongolia Iran Libya Sudan Indonesia Mexico Saudi Arabia Democratic Republic of the Congo Algeria Kazakhstan Argentina India is the plan Australia Brazil is south China is here USA is not south I'm Canada Russia is the last and the biggest country in the world I have class This is a country comparison by size We'll show you with our square mileage Yeah, we'll keep you advised With this country comparison by size We'll go from small to large It may come as some surprise we're astronomical objects brought to you here by size Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size We all orbit the sun, that may come as some surprise I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn I'd be my alternative name is Saturnine, you can see Discovered in 1899 by William Pickering My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing I'm 10199 Caraclo An asteroid with rings the largest confirmed small body of the outer solar system I sing I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers I'm sure I'm 38628 who yeah a minor planet in your system or trans Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun I'm 2018 DG18 of this I am sure A trans-Neptunian object, don't leave, there is more First observed in 2018 by three astronomers 500 kilometers is my known diameter my name is Vesta, I'm a minor planet, you now know I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt I do show I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres I have a mean diameter of 
five kilometers you see. I'm 2014 UZ 224, a trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper Belt, I was discovered. I am sure 635 kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varuna, a large trans Neptunian object in the Kuiper Belt. I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid rotation. 668 kilometers is my diameter. Well spun. I am Ceres. I am a dwarf planet. I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit. I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure. I am 946 kilometers in diameter. My name is Senna. I am a minor planet on the run. I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun. My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects. I'm 995 kilometers in diameter. Glad we met. My name is Horror, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate. But for now, I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object. I reside in the Kuiper Belt. It's so cold here. Burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter. I'm 2007 OR10. That name, it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of Gong Gong. My furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun. My diameter is 1230 kilometers as I run. Not Maki Maki, a minor planet I be. I'm perhaps the second largest object in the Kuiper Belt you see. I was discovered in 2005 by a team led by Michael Brown and currently 1430 kilometers in diameter and I'm round. Almea is my name. I'm a dwarf planet by fame. Beyond Neptune's orbit, you can find me with some aim. I'm the third largest known trans-Neptunian object. I'm 1,632 kilometers in diameter, last I checked. My name is Ceres. I am a dwarf planet as well. And the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system, how swell. Located beyond the Kuiper Belt in a region called the Scattered Disk. My diameter in kilometers is 2,326. I'm Pluto. No, I'm a big deal as the largest dwarf planet I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system till I quit I am part of the cold and lonely Kuiper Belt My diameter is 2376 kilometers so I tell We're astronomical objects brought to you here by Psy Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly we're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measure by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. I am Ceres. I am felt as the largest object in the asteroid belt. I am Orcus, to be direct. I'm a trans Neptunian object. I'm known as Sedna, if you can stand it. I'm a large minor planet. I am Quarr. You may respect as a trans Neptunian object. My name's kind of funny. It's Maki Maki. I am a dwarf planet. Yeah, that's me. Haumea is my name. I'm six in line with fame. A dwarf planet. Yeah, we're not all the same. My name is Eris. I am a dwarf planet. The most massive dwarf in your system yet. You know me as Pluto. I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler-37b? Wait a minute, that's me! An extrasolar planet that you now see. I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun. 
I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun. Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars. I'm the 10th largest planet, but not really in charge. My name is Venus, for what that is worth. I'm almost the same size as your beautiful Earth. I'm the Earth on this planetary run. Please take care of me. I'm the planet you all live on. Proxima Centauri B, I'm the planet you see. An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you degree. Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name. I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim. My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B. 489 light years from the Earth, that's me. Neptune centers Earth's size and my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium. And I'm the most distant from our burning sun. I'm Uranus, the planet seven from the sun, yet I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met. You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true. I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82. I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. I am the fifth planet from the sun. I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegasi B. Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see. I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D. An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me. I'm named HD 100546 B. I am designated the largest known planet you see. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measure by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. This is a size comparison of mountains in our solar system. So you know we all orbit the sun. We'll work from small to large until we're done. We're not all the mountains of the solar system, just the largest ones. My name is Makaloo. I'm on the planet Earth. I'm the fifth highest mountain in the world. You've learned this in this verse. I'm on the border of Nepal and China. I'm 5.26 miles tall. What could be finer? I'm Lotse on planet Earth as well. The fourth highest peak on Earth, on me not many dwell. I'm located on the border of China and Nepal, and in height I'm 5.29 miles tall. Kongchengchenga, Earth is what I call home. I'm the third highest peak above sea level on Earth come roam. Part of the Himalayas in Nepal and India you see. At 5.33 miles tall I'm sure you'll notice me. I'm known as K2, Earth is where I am found I'm the second highest mountain above sea level around In the Himalayas shared between China and Pakistan I'm 5.35 miles high if you visit have a plan I'm Mount Everest, Earth's my obvious location I'm the highest peak on Earth above sea level Come here on vacation I call the Himalayas home I separate China and Nepal I'm 5.49 miles in height Come climb me and have a ball I'm on Akea, the Earth is where I lay I'm on the island of Hawaii Where lots of people come to stay I'm the tallest mountain in the world Measured beneath the sea At my base at 6.34 miles high Come climb my mountain face I'm called Pavonis Mons on the planet of Mars. I'm bigger than Mauna Kea, so I'm raising the bar. I am seventh highest on this list and a giant in the skyline. It's 6.8 miles tall, a shield volcano am I. Elysium Mons, that's my name you had learned. I'm on the planet of Mars, let me continue my turn. I'm the eighth highest mountain on this list at 7.8 miles tall. I'm a volcano, be the first to climb.
my wall I mass grayest mons Also on Mars the planet I come in ninth place on this list This I admit I'm a large shield volcano Located in the Tharsis region At 9.3 miles high To climb me wouldn't be fun I'm Olympus Mons I sit tall on the planet of Mars I'm the largest mountain in the solar system by far I'm a very large shield volcano And the biggest in our system My height is 13.7 miles high And now I'm done this is a size comparison of mountains in our solar system. So you know we all orbit the sun. We'll work from small to large until we're done. We're not all the mountains of the solar system, just the largest ones. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy, am I? 2.65 million light years from Earth, I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy. You see, sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun I was first discovered in the year of 1773 76,000 light years is the distance across me I'm the Milky Way galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk With a bright central bulge that you can't miss I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is AKPC from my center On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender I'm Hoag's object a non-typical galaxy of the type known as a ring galaxy as you can see 121,000 light years across bigger than the Milky Way discovered by author Hogan 1958 There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big Of course, now here we come I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy Discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941 I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy Discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please I'm 170,000 light years across Nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss I'm the Andromeda Galaxy a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted bar spiral, you see, I was discovered in the year of 2018. I'm ten times the size of the Milky Way, that's extremely large, my friend, I'm one million light years long, from end to end. I'm IC1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy, I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe, you see, discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel, six million light years across. Across what stars I am full. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy.
galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come we are pyramids yeah we're all man-made we are architecture of new and ancient ancestry we are pyramids of old and modern time we will show you our location come visit us and climb i'm the memphis pyramid in memphis tennessee built of steel and concrete modern tools built me i was built for sports and concerts in 1991 now used as a bass pro shop for fishermen fun isaac tigrep placed a crystal skull within me when it was removed bad luck struck i'm known as a tomb of doom you see 322 feet high and 10th largest on this list 535,000 square feet now you know this I'm the Ben Pyramid in Deshur Egypt built way back when I'm made of limestone blocks built by the hands of men I was built for Pharaoh Sneferu in the 4th dynasty yeah I was constructed in 2600 BC at 344 feet tall in the 9th largest you see here come to Egypt to visit me I'll be here for years I'm the Red Pyramid located in Giza, Egypt Made of red limestone My hue is why I was called this Also built for Pharaoh Sneferu in the 4th Dynasty It ranged from 2613 to 2589 BC At 345 feet tall, I'm smooth-sided, not stepped I hope you come to explore me in Egypt This is the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada on the strip finished in 1993 built with modern tools i'm hip i have over 4400 rooms that you can comfortably stay in i was built to entertain some people lose some people win 350 feet tall i'm made of glass and steel if you come to vegas come see me i have curb appeal the pyramid of cafe he's egypt's my location made of huge limestone blocks built by the hands of men built for the tomb of the great pharaoh Khafre, you know the second largest and second tallest pyramid of giza i show i'm 448 feet tall which puts me fifth on this list come visit if you can thanks for learning all this i'm the great pyramid of giza giza egypt's where you'll find me i'm the oldest and the largest pyramid of the three egyptologists believe i was built as a tomb for the fourth dynasty egyptian pharaoh khufu I was 481 feet before erosion occurred at all, but since that happened, now I'm 455 feet tall. The Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco, California, built with concrete, glass, and steel. I'm strong, I tell ya. My shape was built for environmental practicality to let natural light and airflow reach the San Francisco streets. At 853 feet tall, I'm seventh tallest here, you know, but the second tallest building in San Francisco, Al-Faisalia Center, in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, built with steel and concrete, and this I will share with ya, I was the first skyscraper built in Saudi Arabia, you know, there are many taller than me now, come visit me though, I'm 876 feet tall, if measured to my tip, I am considered a pyramid, and I'm 8th on this list, I'm called the Shard, I'm located in London, UK, I have 11,000 glass panels, come here and stay I'm 1,016 feet tall and take a pyramid shape I'm the tallest building in the UK, I like to skyscrape Ryong Hotel in Pyongyang, North Korea The world's tallest unoccupied building, I will show ya I'm considered the tallest modern pyramid of all At 1,082.7 feet tall We are pyramids yeah, we're all man-made We are architecture of new and ancient ancestry We are pyramids of old and modern time We will show you our location Come visit us and climb We're the United States Brought to you here by size When we reach the largest state It may take you by surprise we're the United States, brought to you here by size Freedom to love and learn is a privilege in which we take pride Rhode Island is first and smallest Delaware is 
Next on the list, Connecticut comes in third, you know. Hawaii is an island and fourth is shown. New Jersey is the fifth largest state. Massachusetts is sixth, but we're really great. New Hampshire's seventh, in the east we thrive. Vermont comes in eighth and still living live. Maryland ninth and here again. I'm West Virginia in the land size I'm at 10. South Carolina 11 in land size. Maine is number 12 to get here is a drive. Indiana is happy to be 13th. Virginia is 14th and it is beneath. Kentucky's the 15th largest state. Ohio is 16, but we're still great. I am Tennessee, coming in at 17. Louisiana is 18, yeah, you know what I mean. Pennsylvania is the 19th largest. Mississippi is 20, that's a must. New York State is 21 in the song. North Carolina is 22, and we're pretty long. Alabama's 23, as you can see. Arkansas's 24, that's what we be. Florida is 25 and the halfway point. Wisconsin is 26 up in this joint. I'm Illinois, I rank at 27. Iowa is next, 28's better than 11. Michigan will win, coming in at 29. Georgia is number 30 and we are so fine. We are Washington, we will rank as 31. No Oklahoma's 32 and this song isn't done. Missouri has no worries at 33. North Dakota's 34 as you can see. South Dakota is in at 35. Nebraska's 36, you heard this here live. Minnesota will take the number 37 Kansas is 38, I know you were betting Utah is ranked 39th largest state Idaho is number 40, I tell you mate Oregon is 41 in the Pacific Northwest Wyoming is 42, for this we feel blessed I'm Colorado, I am happy to be 43 Nevada is 44, as you can plainly see. Arizona is 45 in this mix. New Mexico is coming in at 46. Montana Rick's 47, you just learn. California's 48, now I'm done my turn. Texas will come in at 49. Alaska's the largest state, number 50 feels fine. We're the United States, brought to you here by size. When we reach the largest state, it may take you by surprise. We're the United States, brought to you here by size. Freedom to love and learn is a privilege in which we take pride. We're the United States of America, we're 50 strong and proud. Here's the names of all our states and their capitals sing loud. My name is Alabama, my capital's Montgomery. Welcome to Alaska, Juno's a great place to see. I am Arizona, my capital is Phoenix. My name's Arkansas, my little rock is so scenic. I'm California, dude, Sacramento's my capital Come to Colorado, visit Denver if you go I'm Connecticut, my capital is Hatfield Welcome to Delaware, visit Dover if you're bored My name is Florida, Tallahassee's a place to be I am Georgia, Atlanta's a great city Aloha, I'm Hawaii Come to Idaho, visit Boise when you go We're the United States of America, we're 50 strong and proud Here's the names of all our states and their capitals sing loud Welcome to Illinois, Springfield is a place to see If 
you visit Indiana, Indianapolis is in me. I am Iowa, Des Moines is my capital. And if you visit Kansas, Topeka has it all. Welcome to Kentucky, Frankfurt is a nice city. Down here in Louisiana, Baton Rouge is real pretty. Up here in Maine, Augusta is really nice. Boston's a little bean. Up here in Michigan, Lansing is worth the sea. Hey, it's Minnesota, St. Paul's our capital. But down in Mississippi, Jackson is the place to roll. We're the United States of America, we're 50 strong and proud. Here's the names of all our states and their capital sing loud. Hi there, I'm Missouri, Jefferson City. Stop by Lincoln, it's a city In Nevada, Carson City Is the one we think is pretty New Hampshire welcomes you Visit Concord anytime If you stop by New Jersey Trenton is quite a find I am New Mexico My capital, Santa Fe New York's the Empire State Albany's where you can stay Here in North Carolina You can see Raleigh Of 
of Scutum Let's see how far I am from your nation I'm roughly 20,000 light years away from Earth you see I shine with 440,000 solar luminosities I have an estimate of 2,150 solar radii That's bigger than the star of UI Scutai My effective temperature is thought to be 3,200K K meaning Kelvin I have so much more to say I'm the new champion of the universe Largest stars by size Try to find me with your eyes When looking to the night sky I'm Stevenson 2-18 Red super giant star The biggest you've ever seen The new biggest star In the universe am I I am much larger than you I could tie I'm Stevenson Size comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit My name is Tethys, I'm one of Saturn's 82 moons My radius is 531 kilometers, it is true I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list I am Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from My radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit Pluto radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn Radius of 734 kilometers as I turn Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus 761 kilometers is my radius I am Rhea Saturn's second largest moon radius of 763 kilometers see you soon here's a moon size comparison in our solar system we're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done we're measured by our radius you'll hear in a bit we'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus 788 kilometers is my radius The name is Triton, the largest moon of Neptune I'm 1,353 kilometers in radius in this tune Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter My radius is 1,560 kilometers I am the moon of the planet Earth. My radius is 1737 kilometers for what it's worth Hello I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter With a radius of 1821 kilometers I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter you see My radius is 2410 kilometers, that's all on me Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame 2574 kilometers is my radius I claim I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah that's where I'm from My radius is 2634 kilometers now Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit My name is Thor, Vesta, the asteroid One of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt Please enjoy The asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter I'm the second largest
largest asteroid on the scene. I was discovered by German astronomer Hendrik Olbers, and that is for sure. In the month of March in 1807, when looking to the brightest spots into the heavens, I was named Vesta after the Roman goddess of home and hearth. It was easy and flawless. I was named by the I am one of the largest objects you should know In the asteroid belt is where I glow The asteroid belt is located roughly between The orbits of Jupiter and Mars That's where I'm seen This is the second largest known asteroid By both mass and by volume That's knowledge to enjoy I'm the second largest two dwarf planet series The closest dwarf to Sun in your solar system see my mean diameter is 525 kilometers or 326 miles if the metric system's unfamiliar I'm the brightest asteroid that is visible from Earth but not quite a dwarf I guess I need some more girth at a distance of 220 million kilometers from the planet of Earth for what that is worth NASA's dawn spacecraft entered orbit around me in the year of 2011, July the 16th. Gone stayed for a one year exploration and left my orbit when it reached its completion. On the 5th of September in 2012, I hope you come back to visit and I hope you are well. I'm one of the four largest asteroids in the asteroid belt from biggest to smallest. Their names are spelled. Vesta, Paulus and Hygieia, that's enough about me, yeah, I guess I will see ya, my name is Thor, Vesta, the asteroid, one of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt, please enjoy, the asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter, I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene, we're the world's tallest buildings, here to tell you about ourselves, the views from our tops are quite chilling, in the world's tallest buildings, we celebrate the architects who created us and the people we bring. I'm China Sun, the tallest building in Beijing, that is in China, in case you were wondering, at a height of 1731 feet tall, I was built by the CITIC, as I recall, 4.7 million square feet and 109 floors within me, I was completed in the year of 2018. Tianjin CTF Finance Center is my name The second tallest building in Tianjin, China That's my fame My height is 1739 feet An impressive size and I'm owned by Chow Tai Fook The Enterprise Over 2.7 million square feet and 97 floors inside me I was completed in the year of 2019 Guangzhou City of Finance Center is located in Guangzhou, China. We hope you enter. Also 1739 feet tall. Also owned by Chow Tai Fook Enterprises, that's not all. I'm 5.4 million square feet and 111 floors completed in 2016 and I am adored. I am one World Trade Center and located in the state of New York. In the USA I've been I'm 1792 feet from the ground to my tip Owned by New York and New Jersey Port Authority Now this I'm 3.5 million square feet And 94 floors I've seen And I was completed in the year of 2014 I'm Latte World Tower, it's nice to meet ya I am located in Seoul, South Korea I'm 1,821 feet in height Owned by Latte, property and development, that's right At 3.2 million square feet and 123 floors Completed in 2016, come visit me on tour Golden Finance, 117 Tower in Tianjin, China, and full of power. 1957 feet tall, you know. Golden properties hold 
things develop me though You'll find 4 million square feet and 117 stories here My completion should be in 2020 the year I'm the Pingyang Finance Center There's nothing finer Located in Shenzhen within China It's 1966 feet from the ground to my tip Pingyang Group owns me Now you all know this 4.9 million square feet and 115 floors and lean I was completed in the year of 2017 Mecca Royal Hotel Clock Tower I will show ya Located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia I'm 1972 feet to my top And I'm government owned I'll be here till I drop 21.5 million square feet and 120 floors and me Completed in 2011, I think that is plenty I'm known as the Shanghai Tower Tallest tower in Shanghai, China I hope I empower 2,073 feet from the sky to my cement I'm owned by Shanghai Tower Construction and Development Over 4 million square feet and 128 floors within Completed in 2014, where have you been? This is the Borsh Khalifa Located in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates That's where I climb high I'm 2,722 feet tall from the ground to tip Owned by Amar Properties, yet I'm still hip With a total built up area of 5.6 million square feet And 163 floors, a size that can't be beat Completed in 2009, I'm the tallest tower in the world to date If you ever make it to Dubai, to see me would be great we're the world's tallest buildings Here to tell you about ourselves The views from our tops are quite chilling In the world's tallest buildings We celebrate the architects who created us And the people we bring This is a heart size comparison Of animals in this world In which we all are one We'll start with a mouse and end at a blue whale Each heart has to beat all day long, we'll show you in scale I'm a mouse heart with dimensions of 10 to 4.2 millimeters That's roughly 16th of an inch and that is true My heart rate's 310 to 840 beats per minute Let's see how many beats that is, I'm always in it, two in it 310 beats per minute We all are one 
We'll start with a mouse and end at a blue whale. Each heart has to beat all day long, we'll show you in scale. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet. Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well, but didn't plan it. I am Haumea, a dwarf planet in this group. Pluto is a dwarf, but used to be a planet, it's true. Aries is a dwarf planet in this mix. The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed. Mercury is here, an official planet. I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this. I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large. Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge. Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow! Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow. Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big. Check out Planet Jupiter, I hope you can dig. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star. My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true. Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue-white super giant, you see. I am Beetlejuice, and I'm a red super giant in class. I'm in Tories, I'm a red super giant that won't last. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far. I am the Milky Way galaxy, and you live in me. Now let's all sing the chorus together with glee. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy. Find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red super giant in the Scutum constellation. Am I? I was first cataloged in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD-125055 until my second survey I was found to be slightly more bright. That's when I was named UI Scutai, the 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum. Am I? I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy, but because I'm so far from Earth, you need a telescope to see me. I'm 30 times the sun's mass, but I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I'm 9,500 light years away from your Earth. One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth. I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars, and I am a red super giant. I hope you like me so far. I'm close to the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, galactic center, which is the center of our galaxy. Galaxy. I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit as you can see I've begun 
to fuse helium and continue to fuse hydrogen in the shell around my core based on models of stellar evolution. After fusing heavy elements, my core will begin to produce iron, disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core and resulting in a core collapse supernova, which is expected in stars like me. Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy. I am you, I scoot I. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am you, I scoot I. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I am you, I scoot I. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am you, I scoot I. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I am the Y Canis Majoris, one of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris. My home's a Milky Way galaxy. This is an interstellar course. I'm believed to be discovered in 1801 when French astronomer Jerome Lalande locked me in my recordings begun. A red class M hypergiant's what I'm classified as. Now let's focus a bit closer on what makes up this star class. Hypergiant stars show tremendous luminosities and have very high rates of mass loss by stellar winds. You see, my distance from the Earth is about 4,000 light years away. One light year equals about 5.9 trillion miles. I'd say I used to be the largest star in the universe. You see, until some hypergiants like you, I got tied dwarf me. I am the Y Canis Majoris. One of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris. My home's a Milky Way galaxy. This is an interstellar course. If you want to locate me while looking up in the night sky, you'd have to use the telescope. You can't see me with the naked eye. If you have a telescope, point to do the constellation of Canis Major and look to the left to the Delta Star for a fixation. 990 million kilometers is my radius. Aren't you glad you are paying attention and learning all of this? 5,822 degrees in Fahrenheit is what my temperature is thought to be. I'm hot and extremely bright. And if I replace the sun in your present solar system, I would consume all planets past Jupiter like they were crumbs. I am the Y Canis Majoris. One of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris. My home's a Milky Way galaxy. This is an interstellar course. Massive stars like me, we live a very, very short life. I'm reaching the end of my existence, which is part of my strife. I rapidly shed mass because I'm running out of fuel in my course. Scientists think I'll explode into a supernova, but no one knows for sure. I am the Y Canis Majoris. One of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris. My home's a Milky Way galaxy. This is an interstellar course. I am the Y Canis Majoris. One of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris. My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course. This is a veggie and fruit size comparison by weight From countries around the world to current day We'll tell you about each of us and where we're waiting We hope you veg out while we sing, while you learn and listen I'm the biggest pumpkin, I weigh over 2,600 pounds I'm from Germany in the year of 2016, I was found I'm the world's largest squash weighing in at 2,100 pounds I'm from the USA in 2017, I was around I'm a gourd, 
384 pounds is what I weighed. Also from the United States, 2018 was my weight date. I'm the biggest cabbage in pounds, I weigh 138. In 2012, I was grown in the USA. I'm the world's largest kale, 105 pounds is what I weigh. In the United States, 2007 was my weight date. The biggest sweet potato weighed in at 81 pounds in the country of Spain. In 2004, I was found. I'm the biggest radish in 68 pounds in Japan. Biggest zucchini I'd be at 64 pounds you see Weighed in the UK in 1990 I'm the largest cauliflower at 60 pounds I reign supreme In the UK I was found in the year 2014 I'm beat root, 52 pounds is my fame In the UK I was grown in 2019 with no shame Red cabbage is me at 52 pounds I'm large you see In the UK I am The biggest turnip at 39 pounds of veg grown in the USA in 2004. I got my edge. I'm the biggest broccoli at 35 pounds. I'm no joke. From the United States in 1993, chew me, don't choke. I'm the largest cucumber, 23 pounds. I am pristine. Grown in the UK in 2015. I'm the largest carrot at 22 pounds on the scene. From the US of A, grown in 2017. I'm a huge onion at 18 pounds, you can't deny. Grown in the UK in 2014, me, you could have tried. I'm the biggest potato, 10 pounds is what I weigh. Grown in 2011, I'm from the UK. I'm a huge tomato, weighing in at 9 pounds Grown in the United States, in 2019 I was found I'm the largest eggplant at 6 pounds in size I was grown in the UK in 2018, no lie This is a veggie and fruit size comparison by weight From countries around the world to current day We'll tell you about each of us and where we're weighed in we hope you veg out while we sing, while you learn and listen. We're the top 10 largest islands of the world, yes we are. We're here to tell you our size, small to large. We're the top 10 largest islands in the world, here we are. Here's our land area in square miles, let's set the bar. I'm Ellesmere Island in the territory of Nunavut, located in Canada, a country I know true. Ellesmere Island's in the Arctic Ocean all the while, my area is 75,767 square miles. I'm Great Britain, an island in the UK that's located in Europe. I I hope you hear what I say I'm touching the North Sea and the North Atlantic At 80,823 square miles I'm big but not gigantic I'm Victoria Island I'm split between the Northwest Territory and Nunavut Geographically I'm in the Arctic Ocean and a part of Canada At 83,896 square miles All BC and ya yeah. I'm Honshu Island, located in Japan I'm the country's main island, just so you understand I touch the Sea of Japan and the North Pacific With 88,016 square miles, to be more specific I'm the island of Sumatra in Indonesia I'm the largest island in this country that I shared with ya I do touch the Northeast Indian Ocean with style At 182,800 12 square miles I'm the Baffin Island also in Nunavut in the country of Canada in which I do salute I touch the North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean too with 195,928 square miles it's true I'm Madagascar off the coast of Africa I am an island country the one you just saw I touch the Indian Ocean and Mozambique Geno with 226,658 square miles for me to handle the island of Borneo is what you're looking at 
I'm Asia's largest island, that's a fact I can back. I touch a vast amount of seas located around me. I have 287,000 one square miles for you to see. I am New Guinea, the world's second largest island located within Oceania. It's where I make my stand. I touch the Pacific Ocean and some amazing seas. 303,476 square miles, that's a lot of me. I am Greenland, the largest island on earth Located between the Arctic and Atlantic Ocean for what it's worth With 836,300 square miles to roam Just east of northern Canada is where I call home We're the top 10 largest islands of the world, yes we are We're here to tell you our size, small to large we're the top 10 largest islands in the world, here we are Here's our land area in square miles, let's set the bar